Hello Laker Nation, my name is Edwin Garcia and welcome back to Lakers Takes. Today I'm discussing how the Lakers can survive these stretch of games without LeBron and AD. But before we do that, I need you to do me a favor and like and subscribe to my channel. Lakers Takes is just getting started and your help is needed and much appreciated. Alright, let's get into the video. On Saturday, March 20th, LeBron James suffered a high ankle sprain that put him out indefinitely. That along with Anthony Davis's calf strain means the Lakers will be playing games without their two stars for the foreseeable future. So how can they survive these stretch of games without them? We've seen several Lakers games without LeBron and Anthony Davis. In all those games, one thing became crystal clear. The offense needs work. This isn't a big surprise, the team wasn't designed to function without LeBron and Anthony Davis as the focal point of the offense, so with them gone, the identity and production is lost. Now, Frank Vogel will have to figure out how to optimize the players he has to win. Who can Vogel rely on? Who are now the Lakers' best and most important players? Dennis Schroeder is now the most important Laker. He is now playing in his most ideal scenario. He's the starting point guard, the best offensive option, and no longer has to share the ball with LeBron. Schroeder is also in a contract year. What better way to show your value to potential suitors than by balling out and leading a team to victory as the number one option for a stretch of games? For each game the Lakers win during this stretch, I expect Schroeder to be the best player on the court. This team will only go as far as he takes them. Taylor Horton Tucker has been a beloved young player on this roster. Now he's being asked to do more than ever before. In the past few games, his minutes have jumped from 18 to 24. With the absence of LeBron and AD, THT will have to grow up quickly. With the extra minutes he's been given, we've seen both Jekyll and Hyde from THT. When he's Dr. Jekyll, he's making brilliant offensive plays and beating multiple defenders off the dribble. When he's Hyde, he slows the offense down, dribbles the leather off the ball, and takes a highly contested long range too. If THT plays well, his role will continue to grow even when the stars return. If he plays poorly, it's a reminder that he's 20 years old and is best on this team as a role player. Kyle Kuzma has turned into a great rotational player on this team. He's been efficient offensively, a good defender, and a great rebounder. He'll need to play a bigger role now to help the team stay above water. Kuzma has had varying degrees of importance on this team throughout the years, and I believe he's found a perfect scenario for himself with his talent prior to these injuries. So, hopefully, he can go a bit past his comfort level and play a larger role on this team in an effective way. The Lakers need Kuzma to be a 25-5 guy if they want to win games. I don't expect him to reach those numbers every night, but he'll need to be around that production level for the Lakers to be successful. Hopefully, he can reach it more often than not. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please subscribe and hit that like button. Also, comment below and let me know who you think needs to step up for the Lakers to survive this stretch of games without LeBron Anthony Davis. Until next time, have a good rest of your day, and go Lakers!